guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am going to be showing you guys what I use and what products I use for my everyday makeup routine. Hey guys, it's Editing Brie here. First of all, excuse the mess. I'm, I'm editing, okay? It's a mess in here. So I just quickly wanted to pop on here and tell you guys that for some reason, my idiot self didn't check the angle of my camera. So instead of it being like completely straight on, it was like kind of turned to the side. And I honestly don't know why I didn't see this honestly, but because it's kind of on an angle, my background, which you can see right here, my camera was angled in a way where you can see like a black stripe of my the rest of the room so it looks really awkward and i am so sorry about that i do eventually zoom you guys in so it's better but if you're wondering what the heck that black stripe is that is uh just me being dumb and not paying attention to where my camera is angled so sorry i will do better next time just wanted to let you know okay enjoy the video don't necessarily wear makeup every single day it is good to give your skin that little bit of like a breathing day I do you have little like sunglasses marks on my nose right here I just got back from having coffee with my friend and this is the first time that I'm seeing the Sun in like months so when I woke up this morning I was like <sighs> really every single product that I use for my everyday makeup routine is in this little white carrying thing I have no idea where this is from. All I know is that my mom got this for me many, many years ago and I have just kept it. So yeah, we are just gonna go ahead and get started. I am first going to out by putting a little bit of perfume on. If you guys wanna know what perfume I just sprayed on me, I'm gonna insert that footage now. Now every time before and after I get ready, I always, always put some perfume on. It just makes me feel really pretty and really sexy and it also just kind of gets me motivated to get ready for the day. I have tried many perfumes in my day and when I heard about Dossier, it was the perfect match for me. All of their fragrances are inspired by popular designer scents. The only difference is the price. Instead of paying $100, you could only be paying $29 they are vegan, cruelty-free, made in France, and the way it works is they send you a full 50 milliliter bottle and they also send you a sample. So when you get your dossier package, you test the sample first. If you like the sample, you can go ahead and go ham on the big bottle. If you don't like it, you can completely send it back within 30 days at absolutely no charge. These are the two scents that I got for myself to try and I absolutely love them. I have smelled and tried the actual real designer scents of these and let me tell you, I promise with everything in me, they smell exactly like the real thing. So if you guys are interested in trying Dossier, I will have a link down in the description box so you can go ahead and check them out. Now after a few little spritz of these bad boys, we can get into my makeup routine. So thank you very much, Dossier, for that little intro to my video. Now let's put on some makeup. My hair is like very unruly. I touched up my roots last night, which you can probably see like my scalp is like really stained. I haven't washed my hair. It's a little greasy, but we're just gonna work with it. But I am gonna take my hair up and out of my face just to make sure we don't get any makeup in it. The very first product that I go in with is a primer and this one is almost gone. I have been using this one so much lately and that is the CoverGirl True Blend Base Business. This is the moisturizing skin primer. I love this stuff. I don't know what it is, but I feel like, and my skin is very oily and this primer does not make my skin oily at all. I just feel like it, like this primer makes my foundation sit so well on my face. I don't know what it is, but I have been so addicted to it. So I basically, <laughs> yes, I'm still dealing with the fucking keloid on this thing. You just can't win, yo. And then usually after I apply the primer to my skin, I will do something else for about five to 10 minutes just to give my skin time to kind of soak in the primer. And the foundation that I have been using that I have been loving, and I mean loving lately, is the Believe Beauty Skin Finish Foundation. This is $5. $5 at Dollar General. I did do a first impressions on this, so I just kind of shake this up a little bit and then I just do... Just 
just little tiny bits on my face. Not a whole bunch though. I used to wear a lot more foundation than this, but ever since like my skin has been better, I haven't really needed that much. And then I just take the e.l.f. Beauty Blender, which by the way, these beauty blenders are way better than the actual beauty blender. Six bucks as opposed to 20 bucks, you decide. Gosh, this foundation just looks so nice on my skin. And literally at the end of the day, my skin looks pretty fucking decent. It's definitely not transfer proof. I do notice that it will sometimes transfer. But other than that, like, damn, girl, like, this is, this foundation is the shit. The next thing I do is concealer. And yes, this is not the Jeffree Star concealer because I'm almost out of it and I don't want to use it all up yet. So lately I have been using the Believe Beauty Concealer, Your Covered Liquid Concealer, and I got the shade Light Beige. The one thing that I will say is light beige, and you guys will see this when I apply it, it is a little bit dark, which kind of sucks. So if you do want to try the concealer, make sure you go a shade lighter than you normally are because I do notice that this is definitely a lot darker than I thought it was going to be. Another thing is all of the Believe Beauty stuff at Dollar General has these like little security tag things on them, and it is impossible to take off the security tag without getting a sticky mess. So that's another thing to keep in mind. That's a pain in the ass. I really wish they would change that packaging, but whatever. It doesn't affect the product. It's just something that's annoying to me. And I just put this all underneath my eyes. You can probably already see that the concealer is pretty, pretty damn dark, but it does a good job. I like it. I haven't really noticed any issues with it. And I more or less use this concealer to cover dark circles rather than lighten and brighten the area. If you are looking to lighten and brighten the area, make sure you get a shade that is like way lighter than you're used to. It's been amazing, like the improvements that I've seen in my skin and my makeup wearing since I've quit smoking. Like makeup just looks so much better on my skin now that I'm not putting toxins in my body. It's pretty, it's pretty fucking remarkable, dude. All right, so there is the base of my face pretty much done. As you can see, we are looking flawless. Everything is covered. We're looking smooth, not too cakey, but I do like a little bit of cake. Not gonna even lie about it. So it looks pretty good to me. Now it is time to set the face. And to do that, I am using a product that I am just gagging over. So this was maybe like a couple months ago now. Hard Candy announced that they were gonna be doing a Marilyn Monroe collection at Walmart. When I heard about that, I was so fucking excited, but it was like an online only thing. So I waited like another month for it to actually be in stores. And once it came to stores, I was so excited. I jumped right on that. And that's what I'm going to be setting my face with today is the Hard Candy Marilyn Monroe Translucent Setting Powder. First of all, the packaging of this, bitch. I love Marilyn Monroe. For those of you who don't know, I love her to death. She is like, literally, if you ever walk through my apartment, every picture I have hanging on my wall is of Marilyn Monroe. And I have her tattooed on my leg. She is just, she is just a beautiful, iconic woman to me. Every single time I watch a, a movie with her in it, every time she comes on screen, I start crying. It's like one of those things. So I'm very excited about this collection. And the one thing that I noticed the most about this powder is the way that it smells. And this is a translucent setting powder and it has rosehip oil in it. So this just smells absolutely lovely. I, and I don't use a brush, I just use my damp beauty blender. Go in just a little bit. Mainly I will focus the powder on my smile lines right here, underneath my eyes and just all over the face, but I focus it in more in certain areas than I do others. I live so close to a train track right now, like I can literally see the train going by. So if you can hear that, that's what that is. Goodbye train, choo choo motherfucker. That is my face completely set. This look, oh my God, this is just fucking beautiful. I love, I'm obsessed with my everyday makeup routine and I have kept this same routine for months now, like probably close to a year I've kept this same routine 
which is a long time for me. So right, and then the next thing that I do after I set my face, usually a lot of people will do their brows. I actually save my brows for later because the next thing I do is I bronze. And the reason why I do that before I do my brows is because I have to fill in my eyebrows, obviously. They're very, very light and they don't match my hair color. And I like to bronze before that because I always bronze my temples and cheeks. And I feel like whenever I have my brows on and I go to bronze up here, I mess up my eyebrows. So I always bronze first. And for that, I'm using the Laura Mercier bronzer. And this is just a matte bronzing powder. This also smells really, really good. I can't really put my finger on what it smells like, but it kind of smells like coconuts to me. And I just bronze my temples, forehead, and cheek area, kind of like where I put my blush. And I am someone who has never been very big on contouring. I think I've contoured maybe like three times in my life. I just, I don't like it, so I don't do it. I just think it looks kind of silly on me especially. So when it comes to like this stuff, I mostly just bronze and blush, that's it. I also bring it down here a little bit because, you know, gotta accentuate that jawline, bitch. All right, and then really quickly after that, I am going to use some blush. This is just a baked blush from Sephora, and this is in the shade Tea Rose Tickle. I have had this for years, and I'm talking like longer than I should probably keep it, but I'm way too obsessed with the color, and literally I've used this so much that I've only used that much. So it literally lasts you a lifetime, so I plan to keep it for a lifetime. I just like the color too much to get rid of it, so I'm gonna keep it and use it until I get some sort of really bad reaction because I'm that bitch. I just take a little tiny bit of this, because it's very pigmented, and I just very lightly start packing it on the cheeks, like that. So many people have been asking for my like updated everyday makeup for a while now. I know some of you, most of you haven't because makeup videos just don't do very well on my channel, which is fine, but I do still like to respect people's requests even if they're not overly requested, if that makes any sense. So, right, and now that we have that done is when I go in with brows. And for that, I'm using another Believe Beauty product, which is this guy right here. And this is not sponsored at all, like not even close. This is not sponsored by Believe Beauty. This is just me really excited about new products and using them. And right now I'm really excited about Believe Beauty. So that's why I'm talking about them so much. I just wanted to like clear that up in case someone was like, this is so sponsored, like you can so tell. This is a brow pencil in the shade Dark Brown. And I do like this because it does have a spoolie on one end and the pencil on the other. The one thing that I don't like about this product is the brow pencil is very creamy. Whereas I like my brow pencils to be a little bit more waxy because I feel like it sticks better that way. See what I mean about it being too creamy? And then I'm just gonna kind of clean up the shape with the CoverGirl pomade because I actually I do really like this product as well. So I know the brows look very scary right now, but I promise by the end of this video, everything's gonna make sense, everything's gonna be fine. Okay, so now we can move on to the eyes slash eyeshadow. And speaking of eyeshadow, Today, the day I'm filming this video, it is the 21st of February, which means today was the day that Jeffree Star released his new Bloodlust collection. I did get the palette, and my question is, do you guys want to see a unboxing and a makeup look with the palette when I get it? Let me know down below or in the poll up here that I put in the corner. Okay, so for the eyes, my eye makeup for every day is very, very simple. The first thing that I do is just use some black eyeliner in my waterline. That is like an, a thing that I always and will forever do. And the new black eyeliner that I have been trying and I really, really like is by Pixi Endless Silky Eye Pen. Really, really, really like this eyeliner. And I just put a little bit of this on my waterline. I don't know what's going on with my camera right now, and I very sincerely apologize, but it keeps like going in and out of focus for some reason, and I don't know why. So if any part of this video is like out of focus or blurry, 
I sincerely apologize. I have absolutely no idea what is going on right now. I don't know if it's the lighting. I don't know if it's the way that I'm moving. I don't know, but it's very, very strange, so I'm sorry if it's doing that. The very next thing that I go in with is just some eyeshadow, and I just use this little tiny palette that I have right here, and these eyeshadows are from a Sephora palette. This was, like, this palette was one of the first makeup palettes I ever bought myself. I was super excited about it, and when I eventually got rid of the palette because it was just expired and dirty and gross, but I had three little slits in the palette that I really liked that I didn't want to lose. So I popped them in this little guy right here and I use a majority of these brown shades. I'm just gonna take this big fluffy brush and go in with that middle brown shade right there. Just a little tiny bit. I don't usually go too ham on my eyeshadow when I'm doing like everyday stuff. Kind of sweep that in the crease and all over the eyelid and then just go back and forth very lightly. And sometimes I get frisky with it. Sometimes I use like a darker color. Sometimes I like add a little bit of dimension and use a super dark brown on the outer corner. It really just kind of all depends on my mood and what I am feeling for the day. So like that. And I do bring it up pretty high up on the brow bone and I do buff it out pretty far. I just like to go for that like trashy look. Like I don't know how to do makeup look. <laughs> and the next thing I do for the eyes is I go in with some liquid eyeliner. And the one that I've really, really been liking for a long time now is the Wet n Wild Mega Liner, just a black liquid eyeliner. And I just do a pretty simple, straightforward cat eye on both eyes. Liquid eyeliner is like the fucking devil of all makeup. It's so fucking hard to do sometimes. I literally do this almost every single day and it takes a lot of patience, a lot of concentration, and a lot of practice. So if you're seeing this like, wow, how does she do that? Practice. All right, so there are the wings. They're definitely not perfect. The end of this one looks a little bit sloppier and thicker than this one, but um, we're just going to pretend like they're not uneven. The only thing left to do on the eyes is obviously some mascara. The one that I'm going to be using today is, of course, by Believe Beauty again. Just looks like this. And this is the High Drama Fiber Mascara. And the other one, because usually every single time I do my makeup for every day or high glam or just quickly doing my eyes, I always use more than one mascara. It's just how I've always been. I love mascara. Mascara actually takes me longer to do than it does my eyebrows. I don't know why that is. I'm just very, I get very into doing my mascara, so to speak. And the other one that I use is by L'Oreal. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Original Mascara. So, but first I'm gonna go in with the Believe Beauty one and I do my top and bottom lashes every single time. A little mishap in this corner over here. The highlight that I use and the highlight that I have been using for the last couple of months now, and when I say that I have not used any other highlighter other than this one, I am being so dead ass serious with you. And I didn't even think I was gonna like it this much, but I also did a first impression on it, and that is the Jaclyn Cosmetics The Flash Highlighter Palette. You guys, like, seriously, this is all I fucking use, bro. I love it so much. I don't use just one specific shade. I take my highlighter brush, which this is the BH Cosmetics Highlighter Brush, and I go in and I literally and to, you know, kind of dull it down a little bit because this is a little insane. I just take a powder brush with nothing on it and I just kind of buff it out that way just to kind of get rid of any like graininess that may be there. Oh my god, you guys, I I don't really like Jaclyn Hill that much as a person, but this highlighter fucking hits, yo. Like, all right, and then for lips, again, this really kind of all depends on the day and how I'm feeling the day I'm doing my makeup, but sometimes I will do a full-out lip liner, lipstick, lip gloss, sometimes I'll just do chapstick, sometimes I'll do a liquid lip, a creamy lipstick. 
a nude lip gloss. It really just kind of all depends how I'm feeling. But lately, I have been doing lip liner and lipstick because I have been obsessed with the new Huda Beauty uh, Power Matte Lipsticks. Here's what the packaging looks like. And my all-time favorite one is in the shade Staycation. It is just like this beautiful beautiful nude color and as you can see like I have been using the absolute dick shit out of this one like but for this video I think I'm gonna switch it up a little bit and I'm gonna use the shade prom night which is kind of like a nudie nudie pink color so these new expensive ass $25 Hootie Beauty lipsticks I've been loving them yo I know it's not Jeffree Star I'm a little I'm a little shocked myself and to line my lips I'm using the deck of scarlet long lasting lip liner just looks like that. Oop, it's upside down. I am not a beauty guru. This is in the shade Belle. Isn't that just the prettiest fucking color? I love it so much. And yes, I still overline my lips because I can't afford lip injections. So we just kind of try to cheat the look with really badly done overdrawn lips. Hey Google, how much are lip injections? As a summary from Groupon, let's get this potential deal breaker out of the way. Lip injections can cost anywhere from $500 to $2,000. Now you know why I don't have them, okay? I got fucking bills to pay. Okay, so here is the face makeup all finished up. This is the second to last thing that I do is apply some setting spray. And this setting spray is like fucking crack cocaine, y'all. This is the Pixie Skin Treats, and this is the Glow Mist with Propolis and Argan Oil. Holy shit, this stuff is fucking amazing. They sent this to me in PR, and I have literally used more than half of it. I am so obsessed with it. I use this even when I don't have makeup on. So what you do is you shake it up, and then you just go ham. I just love the way this smells. I love the way it feels. It does make my makeup last, and I love the spray of this. Well, I've been cutting and trimming my hair at home for months, and the last time I gave myself a haircut, I decided to give myself my little fringe again that I've had a few times. And every single time, I miss it when it grows out, but every single time that I do it again, I realize why I let it grow, grow out every time. And that's because it always fucking gets in the way and shit and I'm always have to move it out of the way and clip it. Like, I don't know why the fuck I do this to myself every goddamn time. And then of course, the very last thing I do, I usually do this like right as I'm walking out the door, but for the sake of the video, I'm gonna do it again. I spray a little bit of perfume on. I'm gonna be using the Dossier Oriental Floral Number no. 3. Give a couple spritz. All right guys, and that is all that I have for today's video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this kind of like sit down, chatty, everyday makeup. I know this is very kind of out of character for my channel because like I said, makeup looks don't tend to do very well on my channel, but that's totally fine. I know a lot of people were asking about my everyday makeup and how I do it. This is how I do it. These are the new products that I use and love. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Again, thank you so much to Dossier for reaching out to me so I could tell you guys and show you guys all of the awesome cool stuff that they offer so thank you so much for that opportunity if you guys enjoyed this video as always make sure to go down and give this video a huge thumbs up if this is the first video of mine that you are seeing make sure you go down and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any future videos i do upload every three to four days on this channel i love you guys so so much and i will see you very soon in my next video i love you guys bye